Welcome to short tutorials with Evaria Sati. In this video I will show you how I created a thumbnail for one of my YouTube videos using Pixelmator Pro. So let's go to Pixelmator Pro and open a new page. I usually use default page and now I want to add a new layer. So I click on new layer and it is transparent at the moment so I would like to give it some color. I decided to to go with green. I have two layers at the moment but the white is behind so you cannot see the color. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and give it some color. So I click on the arrow then I change I go to colors and I choose blue and I need to move layer put a blue layer on the top now I just ad adjust positioning so it's in in the center and now I click on text choose white color for the letters and widen the text so it can fit in and type how to detach audio. It looks a little bit crowded, so I decided to, to type it in two lines. So I'm going to make how to a bit smaller and add another text underneath underneath and type detach audio so I need to a little bit why um, make um, widen the space and give space between detach audio and click on it and position it a little bit higher I have a picture on my desktop which I'm gonna bring it is the screenshot from the video I'm making a thumbnail for I'm adjusting the size and going to position it under the title. I clicked on the text that I am adjusting and add in to the title. I would like to find iMovie symbol so I just google it and press shift command 4 and took a picture of the symbol but I don't want to have a white background so I have to go to remove that BG which will remove the background and make it transparent it is a free website you can use so I'm going to bring that picture to the website and download it and it will make the background um, transparent. So I save it on my desktop and now I'm just going to bring it to, um, to my, to my uh, thumbnail. I'm thinking to change color for uh, for this title for detach audio I would like to use different color so I'm just playing with the color here
I think at the end I decide to go yeah I decide to go with orange I think it's more eye-catching look looking again how it would look in red change the color for in to be white Here I'm just adjusting the layer, the blue one, to be a little bit wider. And remember that Prix um, that Pixelmator Pro works with layers. So every time you want to work with anything that is on your desktop, either letters or picture, you have to click on it first and then you can either adjust the size color so I'm adding a new text and it's iMovie and again I'm playing with color what color works best for for me in this color circle you can really play with colors and choose which one works best best you can just place um, your mouse and the color will change and you can just see which one um, which one is the best for you here I am changing the size of the letters I think it should be a little bit bigger so I went for 300 pixels and again with this detach audio I'm still not happy with the color so I highlighted audio and change the color for audio to yellow I need to change the size image to make it a little bit smaller then I just export and save it in my desktop. Once it's saved, I go to YouTube, to my uh, YouTube channel and go to content. Here are all the YouTube videos I have created and find the video I want to change thumbnail for. This is the video, so I click on edit. I scroll down and mm, click those three dots and press change. And I upload the new thumbnail I just created. And don't forget to save it before leaving the page. And that's it. It's that simple. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for stopping by. Please check out my other videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you in my next videos. Bye.